yes now welcome to today's class today i want to discuss with you a topic that is a probability and specifically i want to look at uh, that is probability density function uh, the so-called that is pdf now i have a question here that consider continuous random variable x the pdf given by uh, fx uh, is, uh, we have kx squared a range of zero less or equal to x less or equal to one zero or otherwise so the first question i have here is that uh, determine the value of k yes so uh, you are supposed now to look at the solution on which uh, you will be in a position of getting the value of k so having been given the uh, f x there now let us look at the solution here so that is the solution let us look at the solution now when you look at here the range here i have that is a zero less or equal to x less or equal to one that one means that my upper limit shall be one as well as my lower lower limit shall be zero and therefore when i i just uh, put the integration sign the upper limit here shall be one the lower limit shall be zero then i have kx squared so my kx squared i shall write here kx squared then it is a, a integration in terms of x so that is dx now under pdf here there is some uh, nb very important here that uh, the total probability uh, must be one the summation must just be one so your work after integrating you need to be equating to one that's a, a very crucial uh, uh, step or concept and please remember it that the summation of uh, uh, the summation under integration here uh, specifically under pdf here the total probability must be one now after that you are supposed just to integrate kx squared in terms of dx well, but when you integrate this, uh, your work is just to add 1 to the power. So when you, I, you take 2 plus 1, fortunately you will end up by having 3. So after adding, uh, uh, having 3 there, you divide by the result on the, on the that is a uh, power there. You, so you will be dividing by 3. So you will end up by having, that is kx cube over 3. Because uh, uh, 2 plus 1 is 3 then you divide by the result then uh, the result here you are required to write the limit in the bracket so the upper limit is 1 the lower limit is 0 then you get to 1 now after that you are supposed now to come here and say that uh, for the first case you are supposed to substitute x with 1 so when I substitute x with 1 I'll end up by having k 1 cube because x is cube divide by 3 then for the second case i subtract uh, here i have the lower limit as zero so i'll subs uh, i'll just substitute here uh, where x is i'll just substitute with zero so when you do so i'll be having k zero cube so that's what i write here so it will be k zero cube divided by three then you get everything to one now after that now you are supposed to work at the bracket so one cube is just one so you end up by having k over three then uh, uh, zero cube is zero so when you take zero by k probably zero uh, zero divided by three that is zero so you, the other side is just zero is equals to one so to remain with k here you are supposed to divide and multiply by the reciprocal that is three over one times three over one which when you do so you will finalize by having k being equals to 3 now that's the first question i i prepared for you now uh, the b part of it i want us to look at b part of the equation so that uh, we can see how we can solve that now under b here let me write the, the equation on a b you are now being told to find the values of a and b such that now let me write the equation first is we now we see the solution unto it so find uh, uh, the values of a and b such that such that uh, roman one for the first case roman one that is probability of x less or equal to a 
uh, being equals to the probability of x greater than a. Yes. So you've been told to find the values of a and b such that the probability of x less or equal to a being equals to the probability of x greater than a. And remember, already you've gotten the value of uh, k here. So we shall be substituting where k is, we just substitute with the 3 there. Now, let us see the solution on this problem here. So that is a solution. Solution. Now, in this case here, your work is to identify the upper and lower limit. Remember, for the case of x less or equal to a, that one means that my upper limit shall be a. Remember, my upper limit shall be a and my lower limit shall be 0. That is it. So this case, uh, when I put the integration sign here, my upper limit shall be a, my lower limit shall be 0. So when you do such, you are supposed to come here. Remember, I, I was having that is a, a k x squared and my k is already 3. So I'll just substitute where k is. I just substitute with 3. So I'll come here now and say that it is now 3x squared dx. Remember, I'm integrating in terms of uh, x. This one must be uh, the same as uh, the probability of x being greater than a now let us look at here x greater than a mean that uh, my upper limit remember my upper limit shall be one while my lower limit is now a because when i put the integration sign here x is greater than a meaning the least value of, of x is a so i'll come here and write a here then the summation the total uh, uh, probability under pdf remember it can't exceed one that's why we are putting here one so when you write any other value uh, beyond one that one you shall be wrong so the highest um, the maximum is one and the lower the least is uh, a so this one i write now the that is 3x squared you just come in and write 3x squared but it is term in terms of x so that's why we are getting that is dx now after that now you are uh, just supposed to integrate so when you integrate these remember i'll be adding one to the power so two plus one that is just three so i'll end up by having now that is three x raised to three then you just divide by the total power here after that you write the limits here so the limit that is the upper limit is a the lower limit is zero then i now equate that one to that is here when i integrate this probably i'll get the same that is a three that is x cube over three and uh, you write the limit the upper limit is one the lower limit is a now after this now now you substitute uh, for the first case you substitute when uh, x is a the second case when x is a uh, zero so you will come here and write say and remember before i come there when you look at here these three cancel these three cancel these three cancel these three cancel so that now i now come here and and uh, have that uh, it is now x cube the limits i have that is a zero being equals to that is x cube and the limits here i have one as well as a now when you come here and uh, substitute for the first case uh, x being equals to a it shall now come and say that uh, it is now a cube minus now for the second case when x is zero so i'll come here and write now zero cube there being equals to uh, here for the first case uh, x is equals to uh, that is one so i'll come here and write one cube minus for the second case x is equals to a so just substitute where k x is just put a so that is a cube there now after that remember these are uh, uh, zero cube is just zero that is useless so when you write the remainder and you collect the like terms because this a can come, come this side so that you get to one so you will end up by having that is a cube plus because a negative when cross the equal sign that is a positive so plus a cube being equals to one because a one raised to any number it is just one so one raised to three uh, fortunately shall be one so when you work out this a cube plus a cube that is two a cube being equals to one so i need to be dividing by a that is two i divide by two here such that 
these two cancel and I'll remain with a cube that is equals to 0 0.5 because half is just 0 0.5 now after this your work is just to get the cube root so just come here and get the cube root of a get the cube root of, of this one here that is a cube root there so when you get the cube root that is a cube root of a, that is a 0 0.5 that is 0 0.5 there you will end up by having a a 0 0.79 uh, that is 37 as your value of a so uh for the first case here we've identified that for the for probability of x less or equal to a to be equal to a probability of x greater than a my value of a shall be 0 0.79 37 now that is the first case now let us look at the second case that is roman 2 so that we can see how we can perform that now you are now being told that uh, the probability now x uh, being greater than b, b is equals to 0 0.05 that is it yes and remember here it is just part of b the b part of the equation was to find the value of a and b such that uh, probability of x is greater than b being was 0 0.05 now the first thing uh, you need to be answer, asking yourself is the limits because when i put the integrator sign here and my x is greater than b what does this mean for x greater than b mean that the lower limit is just b the lower limit here is just b and if the lower limit is b meaning the maximum shall just be one and therefore the upper limit is just one then remember we were having here that it is now uh, k x squared and already we've gotten k as three so when i say now three x squared i'll just be right so i'll come here and write and say that is a three x squared dx remember we were integrating in terms of x the result is equals to 0 0.05 now after this now yeah, your work is just simple you are supposed to integrate in terms of x so when you integrate this you will end up by uh, having that is 2 plus 1 uh, you shall be having 3x cube because 2 plus 1 is 3 then you divide by the power that is 3 then you write the limits here the upper limit is 1 the lower limit is b the result is equal to 0 0.05 now after this now you can see that these three cancel this three there so that I now remain with that is x cube having the limit that is 1 and b the total result being equals 0 0.05 now after that you just substitute, substitute uh, for the first case x equals to 1 and for the second case x equals to b then from there you shall be in a position of getting the value of b now let us go so uh, for the first case when x equals to a it shall be 1 cube minus for the second case when x now is equal to b it shall be b cube the total result is equal to 0 0.5 now uh, from there you are supposed to now collect the like terms whereby i can intend to bring b the other side then this one i bring the this other side whereby i have one because one cube is just one so i have one when a positive 0 0.05 cross the equal sign it is negative 0 0.05 being equals to when a negative b cube crosses the equal side it shall be b cube now when you take one that is one minus 0 0.05 that is a you will end up by having 0 0.95 being equals to b cube now for this case your work is to get the cube root there you get the cube root of that whereby now when you get the cube root you will end up by having b being equals to so when i get the cube root of my answer there you will end up by having my, your answer 0 0.9 that is a uh, let me write 0 0.983 as your final answer in terms of b so you will end up having gotten a as 0 0.7937 and uh, b as 0 0.983 you will uh, be in a position of getting the final answer to question b whereby we were getting the the values of a and b in terms of those uh, roman one and roman two otherwise having gotten the concept i prepared for you today uh, let me meet you in the next class otherwise bye, -bye.